Yo, Baruch Hashem. Today is the 16th. Yom Shishi is the day. The date is the 16th. 6 and 1 is 7. And we're getting ready to enter into the Shabbat. And so it's a beautiful day. And I thought I would talk to you about Psalm 16 because it's the first psalm that Rabbi Nachman delineates as part of the Formula for Rectification, the Tikkun HaKlali, consists of 10 psalms. And this first psalm, Psalm 16, is what I want to talk a little bit today and share with you the insights, because as you continue to read daily <clears throat> the uh, Tikkun HaKlali, these psalms, Hashem speaks to you and gives you revelation and clarifies something for you that you didn't understand. And I'd like to share Something <clears throat> that <clears throat> that I understand now, that when Hashem called me to the house of the Yehudim, I didn't understand it. And on the other side, we had no we had no we had no knowledge. So perhaps just plead ignorance. But that's beautiful. Let's read down to a point and let's interpret it. Psalm 16. Miktam la David shamreni el ki hasiti vak armart le Adonai Adonai atato vati. Baal Ale Aleka Liktoshim Ashir Biharitz Hema Via Deiri Kaal Hafet Sibam. Very beautiful, very beautiful reading. I want to a profound mystical reading, really, and my appreciated. Let's interpret it. Miktam, a song by David. Protect me, O God. For I have sought refuge in you. Beautiful. Since David is asking Hashem for protection. And is seeking refuge as a wise man and a, a wise king would. And then he goes on. On Martha, you have said. Now he says to himself, David's writing and he references his soul's commitment to Hashem. Makes him say, you have said to Hashem, my master you are. Soul of King David has said, yes, as we have said, the Yehudi, Israelites, you you are my master, Adonai. Say, Le Adonai, uh -huh. Hashem Adonai, Atatovaate. But your benefit to me, Aleka, Aleyeka, your benefit your, is not your obligation. Your benefit to me, huh? but rather, but rather for those in the earth who are interred and for the mighty for the mighty Baal uh, that all my desires all my desires are fulfilled because of them that's worthy of contemplation I've been thinking about this so before I see I go to Sfat and I go to see the, the holy, holy men going to uh, take a mikvah and then go at the pray at the graveside of Rabbi Isaac Luria. May his name and memory be blessed. And uh, uh, in the other places, but, and I thought, why are we going to the graves and pray? Because Someone on the other side had said, you don't do that. But here it says, you go to these where these holy men are interred. Interred. Eh? In the earth. But those who are in the earth are interred. And for the mighty ones. Because of them. So you go through this energy. This soul. Because what happens is that souls of Hashem, we don't ever die. See, this is what goes on. We don't die. The, uh, make known to me the path of life. Goes on to say, Toriani or Chayim Siva. Now, make known to me the path of the fullness of life. And what this pertains to is this path of the fullness of life is the path of life. 
and there is no death in life. Death is the opposite of life. And there is this path of life where the soul does not die. It just transforms into another life. So we've already experienced this multiple times and most recently because we were born in our most recent life in Alabama under the auspices of Negro slave back in 1949. Neo slave, but slave nevertheless. Until the propitious moment when Hashem resurrects us from the dead, our consciousness gives us our identity. That's been 40, 45 years ago. Take you to the Holy Land via Africa. Take you to Africa. Take you to the Holy Land. Take you to Yisrael. Take you to some holy mikvahs, as I say, to indicate the Rabbi Isaac Luria for me up in spot. Give a mikvah and heal my wounded leg and have miraculous healings of my body and musical gifts and everything awakened with profound alacrity, quickness, wound. So it's very pro profound. The path, this, this King David said, now, now I love this other part. I just want to look at Psalm 16 and some verses and read to you and, and talk about their meaning. So this first and most obvious one was that why did the Yehudi go to the uh, where someone is interred to pray. And King David says this because, precisely because of this, that all of his desires and petitions and benefits were fulfilled. So it seems to be a, a pious act and something prudent to do and something that our ancestors have done and our king have done and our Messiah has done because the word Messiah simply means anointed with oil to do the service of Hashem as King David was anointed, as King Solomon was anointed, as King Saul was anointed. And we see these anointings, we see as Aaron was anointed in Exodus 29, as King Solomon was anointed in 1 Kings you know, chapter 1, verse 39, you see. So these were Mashiach, if you want to use that word. So because the Mashiach here is telling us that it is a prudent thing to do. I now see why I have done it and why Hashem was calling me to Rabbi Nachman's uh, grave where he is interned and the nod of the Zadokim in Israel. Why it would be appropriate to do that rather than under the slavery tradition. It was like, well, you were afraid of the grave. You know, they spooked us about death and all that. So, so that went with spook and death and you can't touch and that type of thing. But we see something here that King David says. Armat, Amart, Le Adonai, Adonai, Atato, Vaate, Baal, Ali, Yeka, Likdoshime, Shea, Behe, Ritz, Hey, Maha, Via, De, Rika, Allah, Vetsi, Bam. Very pump of beautiful to think of. You have said to Hashem, my master, you, your benefit to me is not your obligation, but rather. For the sake of the holy ones in the earth who are interred, and for the mighty ones that all my desires are fulfilled because of them. It's such a beautiful and profound wisdom that is conveyed to us that to win away superstition and give you now uh, technology and, and, and spiritual exercises to do and disciplines to facilitate your awakening and connection to those who are on the Ura Chaim. Oh, the path of life and the path of life and the fullness, that life, the life's fullness. You see, and that's what we're not dealing with, death and dying when you're connected to Hashem because you're on the path of eternal life. His life has been bequeathed to you, so we transcend our physiology. We transcend this body. Baruch Hashem and hallelujah. We keep on going. We keep on growing. So that's very beautiful. And something else, see, and I love this. Shiviti Adonai Lenegiti Tamid Ki Mimini Balamut I have set Hashem before me always be and because he is at my right hand I shall not falter Shiviti Adonai Lenegiti Tamid Ki Mimini Balamut We shall not fail huh? Because Hashem is with us, I have said Siviti Adonai. And the thing, this is a statement of God consciousness. Huh? Hashem is not something you place in front of you. 
Hashem is a revelation of consciousness. Inside is you ascend, climbing Jacob's ladder, the metaphor for the ascension of consciousness up to the revelation of, oh, yes, I know where the fool has said there is no God. And then the, the awakened said, oh, yes, I am that. All of this is that. This is, this is it. God is everything. And in him we move and have our being. So it's so beautiful. And we set him at our right hand. This is now I got Hashem is at my right hand, my right hand, right, symbolizing chesed, kindness, and virtue, living like that, my right hand. And therefore, you know, I, I, I can't, I can't fail, see, because he is, he is with me all the time. And everything that I do, he is, he is the thought behind it, because now I'm in sync with, with him, and he is the source of my thought and the source of my action is the source of my speech. In other words, he said, today, Yahshua, I want you to go to your channel, which you, which is my channel, because I have nothing to say to you. <laughs> so it's, Hashem said, come here, Yahshua, I've got something for you to do. And he said, yeah, yeah, really name me, your name is Yahushua, you know what I mean? You didn't understand that to the time at the They said, oh, no, man, Yahushua. But see, yes, well, you know, I cut it short. No problem, because we're dealing with the reality. So, Shiviti Adonai Lenigitita Mid Ki Mimini Bala Mot is a very profound statement in, in the 16th chapter uh, of the book of Psalms. Beautiful. And, and now, like I said, that you have made known to me the path of the fullness of life. And what does that mean? That revelation of the fullness of life is not like, well, I'm here and I have the same understanding of me. I'm going to live and die. I'm just going to live and die like Frank and Donnie and Bobby and Derry. No, I am of the Yehudim. I have been gift bequeathed the eternal life of Hashem and I will never die. And, and if I, I don't die because that die is not a part of me, I transform. Mm, I go from one life to another life to another life fulfilling the will of Hashem for my life because my life is not my own, but my life is his life because there is just one source of life and Hashem is that and I am the expression of that. Otherwise, I have nothing to say to you but to tell you what Hashem is instructing me to tell you in this beautiful Sephirah Tefillin Shemakht huh? Shemakht Yehoshua Hallelujah. That's a beautiful word for the joy of Yehoshua. And this is a beautiful song book from what is this? Shatin 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 Shatinstein Shatinstein edition. Book of Psalms with an interlinear translation to Helam. Hallelujah. So beautiful. So reflect on these points that I made, central points that I made uh, in this sixteenth Psalm on the sixteenth day. Of Aprilla and uh, Light, which is seven, 